Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm out here at the 11th hole at Stono Ferry. Tugged my tee ball here into the greenside trap. It's gonna give me uh, a great opportunity to show you a little bunker etiquette and another way to be a great steward of this great game of golf. As you can see here, it is detrimental to enter or exit the trap from the high side. Always enter and exit from the low side, as you see here. This will keep the bunkers in great shape and help you avoid injury. Next, after tossing a nifty little shot right up next to the cup, make sure to drizzle a little tour sauce on top of it for the rest of your playing partners. Then exit the trap in the same way in which you entered. When we rake, we're going to lightly push back and forth over all affected areas in the sand. This is the best method to reduce teeth marks from the rake and clumps of sand. When you're done, make sure to place the rake in line with the pin in order to limit the disturbance of play. So no one likes being in the sand trap in the first place, especially if they wind up in someone else's divot, someone's footprint, or just overall poorly raked area. So if we enter the, and exit the traps properly, along with raking them properly, we're gonna leave the golf course in much better shape than which we found it, and that is the main goal. Until next time, I'm Scott Glaze at the Links at Stone Ferry, reminding you to keep it in the short grass.